Hello again SLS 1101 students and welcome to your video walkthrough for module 5 assignment 1 the assignment titled my academic study plan in just a moment we'll have a look at the details of that assignment but before we move forward with that I've got the module 5 folders open here for us let's start by having a look at the study activities for module 5 and I'll help identify the items from this list which will play a role in your assignment for this week First, you have your reading chapters for Module 5. Module 5 combines elements from three separate chapters, so there is a bit of reading to do over the next couple of weeks to satisfy um, all of the study activities for Module 5. The ones that will help you with your assignment for this walkthrough, however, are mainly Chapters 7 and 8. Uh, chapter 7 deals with note-taking, memory, and studying, and because our assignment this week is going to be putting together a study plan to help you prepare for a larger assignment or exam coming at the end of the semester. Studying will certainly play a role in the assets from this week. Also, Chapter 8 deals specifically with test-taking strategy. So especially 7 and 8 for this week. Chapter 6 is going to be important as well, which deals with reading strategies and research and writing. Um, so they'll all play a role, but maybe more so 7 and 8 this week. Module 5 Study Activity 2 and 3 are both videos regarding how to get the most out of studying and because your assignment deals with how to put together a study plan to prepare for an exam, you should definitely watch both of those videos before attempting this week's assignment. Put a break on the SQ3R method. You'll come back to this one for your next week's assignment on Module 5 Assignment 2. Same for the both of the reviews of the library guys. Those will play a bigger role in a future assignment. Uh, let's drop down to the most powerful way to remember what you study. Study. This will certainly help you with this week's activity with putting together this study plan. And then lastly, Dr. Chu's last video of the module, I Blew the Exam, Now What?, which is a way of taking failure on a previous exam and turning it into success on a future exam, specifically something along the lines of a final exam, which is probably on a lot of students' radars, if not now, then very soon. So definitely have a look at the study activities. It will put you in the right frame of mind in regards to attempting this week's assignment from Module 5. Let's get back to the Module 5 folder here. And we will drop all the way down now to the assessments. When we open up the Module 5 assessments, like usual, there are two to choose from. This week we're having a look at Module 5 Assignment 1, My Academic Study Plan. This assignment does have a template included with it. It's a PDF file, so it may work a little bit differently than the templates you've had previously in this class, uh, in which case there may be something extra for you to download, and I'll walk you through one possible solution to this in the next couple of steps here. So we'll download and review the My Academic Study Plan template. We'll follow the instructions to fill in all the information. Uh, submit that plan for your assignment and then put it into practice so it will help you prepare for the test that you identify that you have coming up in the future that you want to start taking steps on to be successful for right away. Um, even a month out, a month and a half out isn't too, uh, too extreme to start studying for a larger exam like a final exam, especially considering some of the weights that they carry in various college classes. So definitely, uh, the sooner the better. Try to avoid cramming in the videos and the chapters will highlight on the importance of that as well. So put that into place. There's a rubric as well, but it's pretty self-explanatory. If you fill out all the information, you put the thought into it, you should be good to go. Let's have a look at what pops up for me whenever I click my academic study plan. I get a preview right inside of my browser that is the correct file, but because it's inside the browser, it won't allow me to select any of the information to start filling in my form. The quickest resolution that I found for this is to select the download icon over here. I'm using Firefox, but you should have a different option for downloading based on the browser that you're using, and download the file to your computer, and that should allow you to start filling in the information to gain credit on the assignment. So this is what your assignment looks like. The, fill, the form is not yet fillable until you save. Once you save, it should come up on your computer as something along these lines here, in which case now you can read the purpose, the materials, and the instructions. And once you've done that, you may identify the exam that you have coming up that you'd like to start putting a plan in place for to prepare. And now that we have saved this file here, we can start typing directly into the file and putting in your information. Notice that I put SLS 1101, but please choose the course that you're taking where you're most concerned about the final exam. So if you know you have a challenging class that you want to start preparing for now, choose that class and you'll get the most out of this 
document. So identify that class here, type in the name of the instructor, find out what date that exam is going to be. It's probably going to be a final exam and most final exams are issued the last day that the class meet to the semester. If it's an online class, there's usually a week or so um, range of when you can show up to the testing center, the assessment center to complete your exam as well. So either way, find out the parameters for when your exam is going to be administered. The time is usually, again, the time that you have the class traditionally. If it's an online class, you'll want to know what time the assessment centers are open and what time they close, and you can put that duration in the time window here. Find out how long you have to study between now and the date of your exam. So do a little bit of math, uh, put in today's date, find out how many days are left, giving you the opportunity to start studying for the exam so we can see exactly how much time we have to spend on each content area and distribute that out evenly to give you the most chance at being successful on that exam. The place, again, if it's a face-to-face -face class, I imagine that you'll probably meet in the regular classroom, so identify that. If it is an online class, you'll likely take your final exam at an assessment center at any of the five campuses. So identify which of those you'll be taking advantage of. The type of test, is it the final exam that you've identified? Um, is it multiple choice? Is it short answer? Is it a full essay? Is it report? Is it a project? Whatever the type of assessment is going to be, find that out for this assignment and respond back here. Um, it's not acceptable to say, I'm not sure or the instructor hasn't said so yet. Reach out during this week and talk to the instructor and your professor and find out the information. That's the point of the assignment, is to track it down. So please don't put, I don't know or hasn't been covered yet in any of your classes. The point now is to find that information out. Find out how much is going to count toward your final average in the course. This can probably be found on your syllabus or in Blackboard, uh, but if you don't see it on your syllabus, uh, ask your instructor what the percent of the weight is. You'll find that it's usually about 20-25%, but it can get closer to 50% as well. So check with the instructor, check on your syllabus, find out what percentage the final exam is worth towards your overall grade. Uh, that way it gives you some insight into exactly uh, how strong your other scores need to be in the class as well in addition to your final exam to be sure that you're passing all of your classes to the best of your ability. Next come in some more specific information. I want you to find out exactly all of the content that's going to be on the final exam. Some final exams are cumulative, so they cover the entire semester. Um, some only cover from the midpoint on. Some only cover a couple of chapters. If it's a project, it probably deals with something else entirely. But find out exactly what the expectations are and start filling in these lines, A through F here, with the content items that are either going to be on the project that you identified or the exam that you identified. Um, cover it in here. Here. And I can't find a way here to expand this past F, so just be sure that you fill in all of this information here accurately. And then move on to option 7. Option 7 is where you're going to take all of the items that you identified above and you're going to spread them out over the course of some study sessions. So you've got lots of different breaks here to start plugging in the information. Start with the first day that you're going to start studying. Identify what element from above that you're going to study that day. So A through F, start plugging these in. Distribute them evenly. Um, be sure that you don't go too long without at least reviewing each of the particular parts. And also give yourself some durations of how long you're going to study for. Is it 30 minutes that day? Is it an hour? But start building this into your schedule using those practices and those principles that we talked about in Module 2 with prioritizing and building in a successful schedule. Start doing this with frequent study breaks to help prepare for either the exam or the project and fill in the list here to the best of your ability, hopefully with at least a month's worth of time, more or less, to give yourself an advantage on this exam and to give you um, appropriate time to prepare accordingly. So fill in this information with the date, what you're going to study on that date, and for how long for that particular session. Fill all this in. Scroll on down to part eight down here. What materials will you need to include in your study schedule? Um, it might be the textbook, it might be class notes, homework problems. You might also have some items here that you learned about during the study activities that you'd like to plug in, different methods and things along those lines like flashcards and, and study materials that will help you study as well. Those can go in here from number eight. 
identify gaps in knowledge is knowing what's going to be on the final exam. Go ahead and point out those three items that you're most worried about. A lot of times, and when it comes to studying, if there's 10 things to study and you know you're having trouble with three of them, some students are tempted to kind of push those three aside because they're more familiar with the other seven items and it gives them some confidence to focus mainly on those. But all the while, the three items that you really need to study the most are getting pushed further and further aside. So that being said, take this initiative to identify whatever those three items are that you know you need to fill in those gaps between now and the final exam and put the appropriate time in to identify them and fight them head on. That way you're not putting them aside and you're preparing yourself to do well on that final exam. So identify those three here for number nine. Move on to the last part of the assignment, question 10 here. List the resources you will use. Is it the ASC lab? Are you going to go to the library, study groups, textbook online resources, instructor presentations, handouts, activities, study notes? Is there a practice exam? Uh, is there a model of what the exam might look like? Is there a question bank? Whatever you can find to help you study for this exam, spend some time reaching out to your instructor, exploring through Blackboard, find out what modules the study guides are on as well, and identify that information here for Number 10, be sure to save all of your work once you've answered the 10 questions. Go back to your assignment, open it up, and submit your file like you've been accustomed to the last couple of weeks. That will get you set up to submit for 25 points here. One last thing before you submit, just do be sure to have a look at the rubric. The rubric for this one's pretty self-explanatory. For the most part, if you identify all the information and it's accurate and it is um, reflecting the study activities where possible, you're going to get full points here. But have a look at the rubric to be sure. If you have questions about anything regarding this week's assignment, be sure to reach out to your instructor early. And otherwise, have a great week. And we will chat again next time for Module 5, Assignment 2, the last of the weekly assignments for the class. Have a great week. Thanks and bye-bye.